what a lot of towns, Wayne Size, uh, are doing is now that uh, the culture is changing and some of these buildings are losing their original purposes, what they're doing is trying to maintain these buildings that are part of the cultural life of the community, but reimagining their purpose. I really wanted to start a business that would help community, uh, and that's really what our, our brewery is all about, is just helping um, Nebraska as a whole. For small communities, we're losing so many of those people uh, at age 18, and we're not seeing them come back until they're about age 40. And you need these cool uh, meeting places for, for people to get up and have a reason to go out, leave the house, give that alive culture that you see in most cityscapes, and the brewery plays a major part in that in our rural community. Being able to kind of help people look at Nebraska differently, and rural Nebraska especially. Um, we get a lot of people in here um, that might have moved away and then come back, and then they look at it and say like, wow, Wayne is a progressive town. Uh, you talk about maintaining and retaining population and attracting population. Uh, the, as the millennials move into the workforce, uh, cultural opportunities like uh, breweries are becoming an expectation uh, for towns of Wayne's size and of our uh, economic stature. Johnny Bird has just been a great gift to our community. Greg knows this business very well, he's very good at what he does, um, and so that's, that's the successes by the individual, and, and Greg has done a great job with that. So I took a little bit different route than a lot of people. Um, I decided to open a brewery before I actually kind of knew all the ins and outs of brewing. It was just me um, doing all of the business planning, uh, and it got super, you get super overwhelmed um, if it's just you or even you and a partner. Um, and so one of the reasons that uh, we ended up choosing Abe for our beer system is that it's 100% turnkey. Um, we didn't have to worry about going out there and sourcing, hey, where am I gonna get this fermenter? Where am I gonna get these pieces? Um, where am I gonna get my clamps? All of that is provided for you, and it was one of those things that you didn't have to worry about. Um, it was just provided for you. You knew you were in good hands, and then all you had to do was get power and plumbing to it, and you were good to go. Um, their tech came out and taught me how to use the system, um, which is worth every single penny that you have to spend on it because it's super daunting trying to figure out how to do this and how to do the business planning. Um, and so just having that extra partner in Abe was super beneficial. So the Abe system and this small three barrel system really let us not only maximize the space that we have, because we're not in a big building, but it also let us maximize our dollars. Um, we can do so many things with five fermenters in this three barrel system. We rotate beers all the time. Um, we shoot for every week rotating a beer. And the system allowed us to have the flexibility with um, changing up different beers and didn't break the bank. I think what you see from craft beer enthusiasts is that they want to constantly have change. Um, and so we see that model on the national scale shrinking down to more hyper-localized. Beer is more than the, the domesticated light beer that uh, is so popularly available. There's a lot more to it, and when you learn about it, you realize that it's, it's one of our oldest human creations, and uh, it's, it's worth celebrating.